There's so much to do in and around town and country here in Pinehurst and Southern Pines. But what is there to do on a rainy day like today? What about visiting some of the great art galleries here in the area? Our area is pretty well known for all of its talented artists. And look, this painting even looks like Foster. The Arts Council of Moore County is a great place to start. It was founded in 1973 and is located at the Camel House at 482 East Connecticut Avenue in Southern Pines. Throughout the year, the Arts Council supports over 275 local artists through art exhibits and a fine arts festival. Art exhibits change monthly and the gallery offers you an elegant and warm atmosphere that makes it really fun to come to this historical house built in 1903 to see all of the works of our local artists. The Campbell House is open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and Saturdays on the third Saturday of every month. There's a few pieces of art here that you may see presented there. Another fun gallery is one in Pinehurst, and it's called Hollyhocks. It's open Monday to Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m., and it's located at 905 Linden Road, right next to Elliott's Restaurant. It's a great place to go view local art either before or after dinner there. The owner is Jane Castagnelli, and she's a self-taught artist who loves to paint landscapes and animals, just like Foster. Her gallery also features seven or eight of our other local artists. She also does a fun event once a month on Mondays at 5 p.m. It's called Sip and Paint with Jane. Have a glass of wine and enjoy learning a lot about some great art and how to paint it. One of my favorite art spots is the Artist League of the Sand Hills. It's located at 29 Exchange Street in Aberdeen. In the early 1990s, a group of artists worked diligently to create a place where they could pursue their artistic goals and realize their dreams of a community of artists. Classes and workshops are open to all and are regularly listed in all of the local publications here in town. The city of Aberdeen generously provided the space for them to have their little art spot. It's in an old railroad storage terminal. Foster loves to visit it. The Artist League developed deep roots, grew vigorously, and is now composed of over 200 members who are housed in the terminal that now contains studio space for artists. They also have two large classrooms, two galleries, and a library. You can go at any time, Monday to Saturday, from 12 to 3, and check out their website as well at theartistleague.org. You can find out when all the special events are. Foster and I love to go because at any given time you can see between 40 and 50 artists creating their beautiful works of art. So, let it rain. Take time to check out all the great local artists in and around Moore County. Right, Foster? <laughs>